had four years of four years of art in high school, and then when I went to University of Illinois, I studied architecture, and uh, ended up getting drafted my third year. So I left school, and uh, just before I was supposed to go in, they ended the draft, and didn't go back, and decided to do art. The one that I show the most is probably the beach, the charcoal, big charcoal drawing. And, and but you know what? They're all they're all something the same about all of them. So it's really really hard for me to um, to choose because there's 15 year difference in some of this work. And they all seem like it was just done. So. <laughs> Looking back, even when I was in college, and seeing somebody's artwork meant a lot, or seeing somebody do artwork, always stuck in my mind. So uh, it's it's more or less seeing what somebody has done. You know, you can you can talk to a writer, but unless you read what he wrote, it, it wouldn't mean quite as much. So my work speaks for much better than I do. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a lot of influence from, from any individual, and uh, this here is a, a big a range, of, uh, a lot of different kinds of work because I was going to deal with the art students here. So I brought an abstract, I brought drawings, I brought a computer piece, a painting, three-dimensional stuff. So I really tried to mix it up that way, but I wouldn't normally show work in this way, yeah. you know. But for the for the students, I thought it was the best way to go. Well, he actually started off as a full person. Um, it was probably the first three-dimensional piece I had done, and what I wanted to do was expand my drawings beyond working on a flat two-dimensional. I do, I do his shirt, his pants, his shoes, his hands. So when you would look at him, everything was drawn, and and he would have next to him this bag full of drawn, drawn stuff. As you can see right there, it's all the white before I did it. So more or less you can walk through my drawings. Mm -hmm. And I had about 50 pieces, which I call an installation. And every time I showed it, I would show it in a different way. And then about a year ago, I decided to start showing them this way, <laughs> which I'm most pleased with. I had four years of four years of art in high school, and then when I went to University of Illinois. I studied architecture. I liked going to school. I did well. I um, had good friends. It wasn't a chore for me. I don't have a lot of influence from, from any individual. I try to get the most simplest forms because I want to create the paintings taken from a photograph of a drawing, which is three-dimensional. So one thing leads to another. You, know, you can can talk to a writer, but unless you read what he wrote, it wouldn't mean quite as much. So my work speaks for much better than I do. <laughs>